Okay, we're going to take a quick look at just changing some of the colors on this holder. So we can see here that uh, this is actually two separate solid models. So if I want to change the coloring of the collet nut, for example, I can do that. I can change this to whatever color that I want, let's say a darker gray. And we see that now when I save this as a GDML for simulation, it will uh, retain that color and we'll see that collet nut spinning in a darker shading of, of gray. Another way to pick things is, you know, you can pick an individual face. So if I wanted to just pick on a face and grab something, I can say, let's grab, uh, let's grab a, well, let's grab that same slightly uh, darker shade of gray. So we see that that face is also the same color there. So we can change individual face colors also. So um, one thing too, just to uh, show how things work in Esprit using the selection filter down here. So if I move my mouse over this icon, you'll see this is the selection filter. And then we have these different types of uh, categories. So geometry, bodies, curves. What I'm gonna do here is just click on bodies. So I basically turn that off. So now I can't pick anything that's solid. I can't pick anything. So as I'm clicking and zooming or uh, windowing on stuff, nothing is happening. But now what I wanna do is add just the face type. So now when I window in, you'll see that I'm able to grab different face elements by using the window, the click and drag method. And you'll see that by clicking on the left and going to the right, it includes anything that is touching the box. What's interesting about this is if I go the other way from the right, I mean, yeah, from the right to the left, you're going to see that the box, any, the only thing that's going to be highlighted is going to be what's completely inside of the box. So there's the differences there. So you can control what you want to do here. So if I want to change everything, I can right click and say, let's go uh, to light gray. And we're back to light gray for everything. Or I can go to an F4 and zoom in on the collet nut. And again, if I go this way, I'll get this guy here. And I can hold control and just unselect him, which is fine. Or what I could do is just start here and go from the right to the left, and that achieves the same thing. So having a better understanding of how these work um, will allow you to change the colors of the holder to be uh, you know, more realistic if you want your simulations to look nice.